Okay, this video is about Pi 1541 disk drive emulator. It's quite new. It's it haven't been around for too long time, and it's quite interesting because it's not very expensive, but it it does seem to be very good in what it is meant to do. So emulating 1541. So just a quick demo around how to use it. I have connected my Raspberry Pi to HDMI capture device and I also have the USB keyboard so I can move around there and you can see the selection changing so I will just choose one demo and then start to load and you will see how it will act so let's take a best demo from year 1995 and this browser is kind of unqua to use because you can't just type what you want to search you have to go with cursor buttons up and down so it's it's not so useful as the 1541 ultimate is and we choose the mathematica there and then when you have a game or demo which has more than one disk size you have to make a mount list so if you hit in insert key you can see that it appears on the right side of the screen and the other side too and now when I choose the site A and press enter, it mounts the image. And you can see that on the top left there's a directory of the mounted disk. And next to it is a disk map showing what the disk is used, what parts of the disk is used. And then on the red it has the mount list. And you can switch with the number keys. Now we switch to second disk site P and when I hit number one it switches back to site A. And down there you can see that it's emulating device 8 and there you can see status of some features of the IEC bus. And now when I take a directory for my C64 you can see some activity down there. You can actually see the data is transferring. And now when I took the directory, I will load the first file. And currently you see IDE64 disk, disk speed protocol. And you might hear the buzzer from the Pi 1541 adapter when trucks are switching. And now the demo has been loaded and it asks to turn the disk. So I will choose the site B there when I press number 2. And now it detected the disk change and the demo will begin. So actually it's quite simple to use and there has been some misleading information on Facebook lately. That's why I decided to do this video that the emulation is resetting when you change the disk image. That's not true. You just have to make a mount list before you use it. And actually that's all I, what I have to say about this Pi 1541. And that, that everything I have, I have tried with it work, just works. It's very robust and very good emulator. And I will hope that in the future the disk browser will get some more useful that you can type in search the big list or something like that. So it just something like comfortability, comfortability issue or something like that. But okay, now you can see it's still loading some more data the demo. And it, it just works. And if I press ESC, it exits the emulator and of course the demo crashes because it can't get the data anymore. Okay, see you in next video.